Hello, sports fans, sports betters, and YouTube Nation. John here from Rick of Picks. Monday, March 17th, May 17th. Not March. March is way gone. May 17th, 2021. It's been that kind of a morning for me. Um, I didn't have a YouTube play for you guys yesterday. I uh, got extremely busy in the morning. Had a softball tournament I was playing in. We played at 9 a.m. And I figured I'd have a little break and was able to do a, a video if we did win. But I ended up having to play three games in a row. Um, don't even get me started on funky brackets like that when teams start having to play back to back to back to back to back with no breaks or anything. It's just annoying. By the time we got to the third game, we ended up losing by one run. But um, several of us were just fine that it was over and we did not have to play a fourth game in a row because had we won we'd have been right back at it on a different field um, for four in a row and when you get to a certain age you just don't want to you know go hard for four hours straight so anyways um it was fun a good time but had a lot of housework to do so excited about that but you know that's why i didn't have a play for you guys I do apologize there but um wasn't a, wasn't too much out there i liked anyways i did put out um a couple plays uh, one in the WNBA, which was a loser, had the Phoenix Mercury. Um, they ended up getting beat. And then I had the Calgary Flames um, on the money line. That was my big play. Um, I think it was a three-unit play that I put out. Um, said if you're feeling lucky, take them on the three-way. I thought they were going to get the job done. They were up 4 nothing early. And for whatever reason, Vancouver has scored, I think, eight goals? Maybe more. Yeah, I think it's eight goals in the third period in the last two games. So... It's like they just wait, wait, and then they just strike. They come out of the th in the third period and just strike. Um, two days in a row they've done that. They scored four goals in the uh, third period. So I guess something to look forward to if they play again. I, I really don't know what their schedule is. It was a regular season game. I think they're just trying to make up their games to see how, where they fall into the playoff picture. But in my opinion, they should just, hey, you didn't get enough games in to qualify. See you next year. That's my opinion. But. We're going MLB baseball for this video. Um, I think it's going to be a, a decent game. Chicago White Sox, Minnesota Twins. I know I'm wearing a Nationals hat just because it matches. I'm wearing red today, so you know I put a red hat on, try to try to coordinate like that. But um, Nationals are playing the Cubs. Um, I don't know how I feel about that game. Lester pitching against this old team. Alzole going for the Cubs. Um, you know, starting to pitch better. Cubs starting to hit better. You know, Wrigley Field. There's a lot of factors in that game. Um, if the Nationals have any any sort of offense, if they hit like they can, they'll win the game. But, you know, their offense is so hit or miss that it's it's hard to even say who's going to win that game. But Chicago White Sox, Minnesota Twins, J.A. Happ going up against Dallas Keuchel. Um, both these pitchers have been roughed up by the other team. Um, White Sox hit lefties good. This season, they're averaging 4.2 runs a game, uh, hitting 246 versus left-handed pitching. Um, they're starting to come around as a team. The last seven games, they're averaging five runs a game, hitting 275 as a team. Minnesota Twins, you know, they're another team that's here or there. At home this season, their uh, batting average is 228, averaging 4.2 runs a game. Versus left-handed starters, they're averaging five runs a game, hitting 240. Last seven games, they're hitting 263. Not putting the, the runs across the plate as often, but they are hitting 263. So, um, you got the potential for a pretty good game here. Um, road road games this season, the White Sox uh, bullpen ERA 4.23. Minnesota's home bullpen ERA 3.75. Uh, both teams are a little susceptible there. Um, starting pitchers, you got Keiko who comes in with a 4.33 ERA. Jay Happ comes in with a 4.26 ERA. Started out hot. I mean, started out just looking good and has kind of faltered off. You know, you start getting into the season. And we start seeing how these teams are going to respond and react. Um, last time Keiko pitched against Minnesota, the final score was 13 to eight. Um, that that happened to be the same game Jay Happ pitched. So I think there's going to be a similar um, to that. Um, pitchers can make adjustments against hitters, but usually if a team starts hitting a pitcher. They're going to keep hitting that pitcher. They, they saw something. They found something. And unless that pitcher makes a drastic adjustment, you know, you're going to get hitters that, that are comfortable against them, and they're going to hit the ball. Um, that game was played on May 12th. That's not a lot of time for a pitcher to make an adjustment. So I think we're going to have a lot of runs scored in this game. So your official Ricketts diamond pop pick for this game, we're going Minnesota Twins, Chicago White Sox, over. Nine and a half. We're taking the over 
it's just a little bit to the under both numbers um you know are are, are, are negative numbers you gotta lay a little bit of juice but the, the over nine and a half minus 103 i like it we're gonna put a unit on it that's how we're gonna roll if you guys have not already hit that subscribe button tap the bell turn notifications on you'll get the videos as soon as they drop give me a big old thumbs up if you appreciate true free daily sports betting advice each and every single day well not every day because i did miss sunday so i will be here most most all the time i've missed two days now in in almost two years so it'll happen sometimes life gets in the way but that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful day a great week happy monday to everybody <sighs> mondays fun anyways with all that being said thank you very much for watching this video and most importantly good luck with your bets